Hello, how are you? It's wonderful to be here. Five years ago, I joined a Magento hosting company. Or so I thought. What I actually joined was this and this and this. And yes, all of this. You're right, I joined a community. And I am so glad I did. I have been a part of this Magento ecosystem for about five years, and I spent three of those with Mage Mojo. Mage Mojo is a cloud hosting company for Magento only. Deciding to host Meet Magento New York with Mage Mojo immersed me further in this community. It truly is a unique opportunity to understand community needs. Just when I thought I'd found the perfect opportunity to give back to this community, speaking at community events ext extended those opportunities. I, I can only hope that through Ma Meet Magento New York, I give others the same opportunity as I have. Contributing is central to our community. Supporting the growth of a ro robust ecosystem benefits us all. We are the community, so we depend on each other to maintain its viability. But how do we do that? How do we find ways to contribute? It's not always easy, right? Events like this, community events, Meet Magento, unconferences, other Magento-centric events present just that opportunity. The flip side is that community events need us all. Hosting a truly beneficial community event needs community participation. A successful community event needs the collective input of all of us, and a successful community needs us all. Let's talk about a few of those opportunities to contribute. The Meet Magento Association and how it all began, the transition to the Magento Association, and contributing to this amazing community. As you all know, Meet Magento India is part of a series of international events. The very first one, depending on who you ask, was either Meet Magento Netherlands or Germany. And all of this started 11 years ago. Since 2010, the Meet Magento Association guided events like this in over 30 countries. The masterminds behind the MMA Thomas Golitz and Thomas Fleck. They believed they wanted to enable community managed networking events. They really believed the community needed opportunities to connect with and share knowledge in an informative yet welcoming environment. They hoped their initiative would connect and grow the community. The result? Each year, thousands, yes, Thousands of Magento merchants, developers, agencies, and other e-commerce professionals attend Meet Magento events in their country or in an environment where they hope to expand their business. Isn't that incredible? The fact that you are here today shows a commitment. You are helping continue that tradition. We are all building on the momentum they started, uniting this Magento community across borders, time zones, continents, and industries. Isn't it impressive that the core philosophy of MMA still exists? And we are helping keep that alive. 2018 marked the last year the MMA guided these events. And we welcome the Magento Association. One of the roles of the Magento Association is guiding the Meet Magento community, as well as providing opportunities for collaboration and contribution. The strength of the association, though, is in its membership. To that end, until the end of 2019, membership was offered at no cost. Becoming a member of the MA 
allows you to join a committee of interest. It grants you the opportunity to vote. So it gives you the opportunity to guide the direction the MA is moving in. The MA currently has a nine member board, only one of whom is currently employed by Magento. Ah, picture opportunity. You're probably already aware of Josh Warren, the chair of the board. And I have to share this with you, it's just really special. Josh and Jenna Warren only recently, I think this week, welcomed the newest member of their family. That's just incredible. Then there's Josh Berman, executive director, and Ben Marks. Ben needs no introduction, right? Ben is with us at MMIN, and I'm sure we'll be really happy to answer your questions about the MMA. Have I said this already? Contributing is central to our community. There are opportunities for engagement and contribution with specific events. Meet Magento events, for example. They're managed and organized by us, by the community, and not by Magento. Magento supports the events, and they attend. But usually, a company within the Magento ecosystem, like Magento, or Mage Mojo manages the event. And that usually happens in addition to their regular jobs. I'm curious, how many of you have managed your own event before? Can I see a show of hands? None of you? Huh? We were the part of the distributed Interesting, interesting. But so I think you understand, right? But if you have never managed an event before, you may underestimate the complexity and sheer volume of tasks an event organizer deals with. So whether you're a guest, a speaker, or a sponsor, your contribution really matters, and it is appreciated. I'm not sure if you realize this, but events are primarily sponsored by, uh, sorry, primarily funded by sponsors. Event tickets do contribute, but usually the cost of attendance is well below the per head cost. This is the organizer's way of giving back to the community and encouraging community participation because it takes an entire community to pull off a successful community event. So doing your part to promote the event, it's your way of giving back as well. It helps with event visibility. It reminds others to attend, buy tickets, sponsor, and maybe promote the event themselves. Offering to help may be very, very well received. It never hurts to ask. I realize we seldom have much time to spare, right? So it might seem like a daunting task, but my advice is begin anywhere. There is no contribution that is too small. Buying tickets early you might not realize how important this is. Estimating event size is a challenge organizers face constantly. Sponsors, especially first-time contributors, they need to understand the guest count and composition to make an informed decision. Early ticket sales allow the organizer to provide this information to potential sponsors as well as guests. Submitting, submitting talks early is also really helpful. What's more, submitting more than once improves your chance of acceptance. There's only a certain number of speaking slots, and acceptance is competitive and merit-based. Keep in mind, though, the organizer will want to publish at least a partial agenda very early on to attract a varied audience. So submitting early, on popular topics improves your chance of acceptance. Even if you are not accepted as a speaker, if you plan to attend, let the organizer know you are prepared to stand in as a backup. It is not unlikely that accepted speakers are unable to attend at the last moment. Just last September at Meet Magento New York, a hurricane threatened the southeast coast of the U.S. 
who knew we would be faced with such an emergency? We were really glad that those who could not attend were safe. We were able to find two backup speakers at the very last moment. And then on the morning of day two, a third in a matter of five minutes to replace someone who was ill. It never hurts to be, pre be prepared as a backup. I'm sure you realize that lots of time is dedicated to preparing a very informative website. Lots of the answers you are looking for about the event is already in these pages on the website. So before you send that direct message or that email, spend some time researching information that is available. And of course, reach out to the organizer with constructive feedback about info that isn't. Sponsoring community events is about more than increasing sales and leads. It shows a commitment for and support of this community. Sponsor booths in the marketplace add value to any event. So remember, please visit all of those sponsor booths upstairs. Let the, our supporters know that you appreciate them being here and helping us attend this event. Ah, the end of an event. The end of an event is not the end for the event hosts. Next on the agenda is pictures, feedback, getting feedback from guests about improving the, the next event. Um, there's a whole variety of tasks. It does not have to be the end for you either. There are opportunities to help even at this stage. Responding to the post-event survey is invaluable. Positive feedback as well, letting the organizer know what worked well this year. What should they do again that you appreciated? Write a blog post. While it is fresh in your mind, it increases event visibility, it lets others know why they should consider coming the next year, it's really helpful. And thank you hosts, don't forget, your hosts and the entire team that helped you be here today. Reach out to contacts. Those you already know, new contacts, but remember, do this while it's still fresh in their minds. Of course, there's other ways to be remembered, like being that guy that gets kicked out of bars, names removed for privacy, or those guys that get us kicked out of bars. And there's also that guy whose job it was to get others kicked out of bars. And even if you are, you're still welcome because that's the kind of community we are, right? I was at Meet Magento Spain in 2019, and I heard a talk by, give me a second, Max Yekaterinenko. Did I get that right? Whew. <laughs> His talk included stats on community code contributions. It was so impressive that I have to share it with you. Magento began accepting pull requests more than 2.5 years ago. In 2017, 25% of code delivered in the Magento 2 repository came from community pull requests. 2018 saw three times as many pull requests and 54%, 54% of new code from community pull requests. Also in 2018, Magento became the number one PHP repository in GitHub. Unfortunately, I don't have stats for 2019, but Max did share that in 2019, there were pull requests from 585 new developers. Now, that could be just first-time contributions or just an increase in contributions. Still, that's really impressive, right? Outside of pull requests, there's contribution days, which usually occur the day before or after an event. Granted, there are contribution days that are set up as events on their own. The community gets together with Magento's developers and discusses issues they face and how to resolve them. Magento looks for feedback from the community, so community investments are more focused. Developers who in the community 
who deal with this day in and day out get to develop code, which is then merged into Magento's core code. Magento developers are looking for feedback on future architecture decisions. And these discussions are public in GitHub. Creating educational material is also helpful. Books to help others, podcasts like Mage Talk, hosted by Phil Jackson and Kaylin Jordan. Have you heard of Load in the Loop? by Ivan Chapurny and Eric Heilman. How about Mage 2 TV by Vinay Kopp? All really helpful resources, right? Open Slack channels like that of the Community Engineering Group, the Magento Association. Look for the link in the footer of the MA website to join the MA general Slack channel. DevDocs is a repository of technical information. It allows you to submit pull requests, to edit, or create new documentation. Magento Stack Exchange. It's a question and answer site, <coughs> mostly for technical topics, but also used for a wide range of content. It is a go-to for developers looking to solve issues. The reason I like the forums is that it deals with a wide range of technical and non-technical issues. Also, it's a great way to meet new people joining the community. GitHub, we've already discussed. That's the link for joining the Community Insider Program. It allows individuals, agencies, and dev shops direct access to tools like a sandbox. You get listed on a directory, you get a badge, marketing resources, discounts, a Community Insider newsletter. Keep in mind, though, if you register and you don't yet qualify, where do you, do, where do you go? Magento U offers training and certification. I'm not sure if you've all had a chance to meet Sharon Lambert. She's right here in the front row. She would love to talk with you about training and certification from Magento U. And even if you don't need it, she's just an amazing person, so go talk with her. Also from Magento U is Richard Huey Buckus in the back of the audience, also a great resource from Magento U. Wow, he smiled. <laughs> Thank you all for being here, for joining me today. We all start our journey in the Magento community somewhere, right? And we never know where that journey is going to take us. But we all appreciate you contributing and building our community. Thank you. <laughs>